from the campus of California State University, Sacramento. This is Made at Sac State. Welcome, welcome to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We are here to share the Sac State story and to celebrate the people, the faculty, who help make our students a success. The university's College of Health and Human Services provides students and in turn the community with nurses, physical therapists, speech therapists, and police officers, and so much more. We are here with Dean Fred Baldini, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, and Rosie Dawes. Thank you both very much for joining us. Dean Baldini, let's start with you. College of Health and Human Services is a professional college that offers a number of programs in seven different departments. Uh, our criminal justice program uh, offers a high quality program with excellent faculty uh, in a number of different areas and a lot of our alums are in the area uh, in the region uh, in leadership positions. Uh, kinesiology and health science, uh, Rosie's a health science major. Again a number of wonderful programs engaged in the community in a number of different ways. Uh, we have a nursing program, I know you're going to hear more about that today, uh, physical therapy, uh, speech pathology and audiology. Uh, we also have an uh, outstanding uh, recreation park tourism and administration uh, program that is uh, known throughout the state and in fact uh, has a number of grants doing different kinds of studies in the state. Uh, and then our social work program. We offer a BSW and an MSW and uh, our students are interning in all kinds of private, public, uh, government agencies across the region. And uh, It's really a wonderful professional college that prepares students. It's a nice mixture of general education, followed up with great training in the different professions that we offer. And we'll talk a little bit more about that community involvement in a mm -hmm. sec, but I wanted to get to Rosie and ask a little bit about what are your, what is your major and, and what are your long-term career goals? So I am a health science major with a concentration in community health education. And actually, I wasn't originally a health science major. Sac State kind of helped me with my career path um, with the different opportunities and resources. I kind of got all of the characteristics that I loved and put it into one major. And so long-term goal-wise, um, I plan on working for a nonprofit organization. As of right now, I'm working for the American Cancer Society, kind of doing outreach specializing, um, um, making more awareness of the breast cancer, of breast cancer and making strides against breast cancer walk. And how's your, uh, how, you just described the Sac State experience and how folks have helped you uh, kind of find your path. I think um, if I could describe it in one word, it'd probably be rewarding. I kind of immersed myself um, in the Sac State life and so I ended up being the GE Honors Committee President. I was an orientation leader for three years. Um, I was a peer mentor and advisor for multiple entities on campus and currently I serve as the Associated Student Government Director for the College of Health and Human Services. Dean Baldini, we really want to talk a little bit about community involvement and uh, how the college just really supplies so much for the community. Uh, but first, we're going to listen to a couple of quick clips. It's been very good because um, my experience has been that the students are uh, up to date on the latest of, uh, research and, and, and techniques, and so that's been very beneficial to me. She these people here are were happy and fun and so much exciting and that's that's really good to me now we have two patients there who uh, were struggling with some issues of st stroke uh, in, in the case of the last gentleman and they are actually here uh, on campus uh, getting help how connected to the community is is your college and uh, faculty, student, staff? Sure. Well, I think Rosie's an excellent example. You heard the experiences that Rosie has, and, and that's very common. All of our programs across the college are uh, very much intertwined into the local and regional community, uh, and we have a number of clinics. You saw someone from our speech pathology and audiology clinic. You saw someone from our physical therapy clinic in those clips. Uh, we also have a nursing clinic. Uh, we are also now uh, with uh, the uh, creation of Folsom Hall, we're, we're establishing a center for health professions, which will include a community-based clinic and all of the clinics that we currently have. We're actually looking at video of the yeah. ribbon cutting for Folsom Hall. And, and so. Folsom Hall has been a wonderful uh, addition. It's part of the President's Destination 2010 initiative. Our nursing program is now there. They have state-of-the-art skills labs and simulation labs. 
And as we speak, construction's under the way, underway for the new physical therapy program over there. We admitted our first cohort of doctoral students this year. We've had an outstanding master's program for a long time, but now it's transitioned to the doctorate. And we are, we're excited about building new facilities there. We soon, down the road, hope to move speech pathology and audiology there. And this will really become a hub for health professions and a hub for our interactions with the community. All of our majors, criminal justice, kines, social work, recreation, all of the other majors as well are, are everywhere in the community. You'll see our alums everywhere in leadership positions. And all of our students do internships and have an experience, a hands-on experience in the community. All right, we want to thank you both very much for joining us today, for giving us just a, a little bit of an overview. I mean, we really just scratched the surface on the great work um, that your college is doing in the community and for this university and for our students. Thanks for having All right, me. thanks both very much for being here. For more on the College of Health and Human Services and uh, to get a little more information on uh, Sac State, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And coming up, the School of Nursing. Hi, my name is Tree. I'm a physical therapy major. I am made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Tatiana, and I'm studying health sciences, and I'm made at Sac State. Here we go. It all comes down to this. There's the handoff. He's going to left. He's got an opening. What a move. Look at him. At the 20, the 15. He's going all the way. Touchdown. Wow. What a success story as this kid has come out of nowhere. And now look at him. This is a real game changer. The fans, they're going wild. Talk about a defining moment. Only here. Only at Sac State. This is pandemonium. The School of Nursing at California State University, Sacramento. We are joined now by nursing professor Denise Walperillo and Sandy Chin. Thank you both for being here. We have nurse, nurse professor, and future nurse. So thank you. Thanks for being here. I want to start with you, Professor. How has the School of Nursing at Sac State changed in the last few years? Well, the biggest change that we've had is we've moved into our new space in Folsom Hall. It's been about two years now. And we had outgrown our space in El Dorado Hall on the main campus. We couldn't have any of our lectures there, and our lab space was really, really tiny. Now in Folsom Hall, we can have the full complement of students in every class. We have all the technological advances that we need, especially our simulation lab. So we're able to really simulate the hospital experience inside, inside our labs. It's great. And as a student, Sandy, how do you like uh, your classes? My classes have been fantastic, and I love the simulation labs that go along with it because, I mean, there's only so much you can learn during a lecture. Being able to be hands-on in the simulation labs definitely allow for a better learning experience. Okay. What are your long-term career goals? You know, my ultimate career goal is to make a, a run a free clinic. And so in order to do that, I have to have a lot of community experience and uh, the Sac State Nursing Program has definitely allowed me to experience hands-on um, in uh, clinical experiences in the community and that's definitely helped toward that. All right, well, I want to talk a little bit more about that, but first, uh, Professor, talk about the uh, wide range of, of services that uh, the School of Nursing provides for folks out in the community that I think a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, that's one of the hallmarks of a baccalaureate nursing education is that we thread community throughout the curriculum. And so our students across their four semester program, every semester they're doing some activities in the community. And while many of those activities are course requirements, so they may work in a skilled nursing facility in first semester, or they may do some um, flu shot clinics on the main campus during second semester, third semester they do some service learning, and then fourth semester they do projects on their own. Most of our students also do additional volunteer experiences. For example, we recently did a, a free clinic for physical exams for Boy Scouts, and the clinic was staffed almost entirely by nursing students and then also the nurse practitioners that we have on faculty. Now, how valuable is that kind of experience for you as a student and future nurse? Oh, it's extremely valuable. You can definitely learn 
a wide variety of things just being in the community that you wouldn't be able to learn in books. You would, <laughs> yeah, there is, I mean, one for one thing, um, therapeutic communication, you can't learn that by reading. You definitely have to be able to practice that out in the community and to be able to experience that um, kind of situation for you to be better at it, basically. Are you excited about um, getting your degree and moving out into the community? I'm so excited. <laughs> I am. I graduate this December, so it's pretty close. And um, I, you know, I'm hoping to get a job in an ICU somewhere, and hopefully, you know, start saving money for that clinic. <laughs> now, you are currently a nurse. I'm <laughs> Once a nurse, always a nurse. They say. <laughs> now you you are you, so you work out in the community, and you also uh, teach here at Sac State, correct? Which is just wonderful. Um, how uh, how are we preparing our students? I mean, how what the quality of education that that they're getting here? Well, we believe we offer a very high level of education for our nursing students, and I'm not unique as a faculty who works also um, at, a, at a hospital or a community position. That's true of more than half of our full-time faculty members are still in clinical practice. And so that helps us make sure that the curriculum we offer is current. Um, we're up to date with the latest and greatest um, things going on both in the community and in the acute care setting. So mm -hmm. that's one thing that we really pride ourselves on is always advancing and changing and adapting the curriculum to meet the needs of the current consumer and the employers out in our community. Okay. And in any last comments about um, the School of Nursing here at Sac State? It's been uh, just a tremendous uh, time to be there and to change. Were you there when they were in the other facility and then moved to Folsom Hall? I was not, but I'm very grateful to have first experience nursing at Folsom Hall. And I think the best thing about Folsom Hall is that I feel like all the students and all the faculty is like a big family. It's like a huge community. And I mean, we're offered the the faculty's time like with the phone numbers and stuff in order to reach them. And I feel like that's definitely brought us closer to the faculty and as well as our students. And so I feel I I love Folsom Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lucy. And Sac State. And Sac State. Thank you both for being here. We really appreciate you sharing today with Thank us. Thank you so Thank, much for having thanks us. Thanks a lot. And thanks for all the great work you're doing with the community. For more on the School of Nursing, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come, speech, pathology, and audiology, turning 60 years old. You figured it out. Why don't you take a look and see what you want to change? Hi, my name is Jeff Nelson. I'm a kinesiology major, and I'm made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Angela Gonzalez. I'm a health science major, and I'm made at Sac State. I'm Alex Gonzalez, the president of Sacramento State. I invite you to our beautiful and vibrant campus. We have nationally recognized academic and student programs. We have community partnerships that create jobs and internships for our graduates. We are Sacramento's university. Sacramento State's location in the nation's most dynamic state capital gives our students an advantage, no matter what they choose to study. We're very proud of our academic programs. Professors work directly with the students in the classroom and the laboratory. Students have the opportunity to perform cutting edge research and this research we do is put into use in our community as well as around the globe. Our students form deep connections with the campus thanks to exciting activities, their new housing options, and our state-of-the-art recreation and wellness center. There's something for every interest. We have a new sweet style residence hall that's won awards for environmental sustainability and efficiency. Students can live right on campus and walk to class. And make new friends. Sacramento State features student excellence in events and entertainment. We've won team championships in many sports, and we are proud to present award-winning performing arts programs. Sacramento State is the place to learn, to lead, and to succeed. Come check us out. We are a destination campus for our students and our community.
he has come so far, we would not have been able to get that at the regular school. Without them, it's made a difference for him. The Department of Speech Pathology and Audiology is training students for the healthcare profession and filling a need in the community. Joining us now is Celeste Rosenberry, interim department chair for the department and student Nora Shimoda. Thank you both very much for joining us to talk about this, this great you. department. Um, Professor, speech and audiology is 60 years old. Will you tell us a little bit about how that department has changed over the years and how involved are we in the community? Okay, we've had a lot of changes, Gloria. One of the biggest ones is our undergraduate population has approximately tripled just in the last few years. So we have an active undergraduate program, an active graduate program, and our speech and hearing clinic, which serves between four and 500 clients a year between the ages of two and 102. And they all have speech language hearing disorders of some type, cleft palate, stuttering, stroke, literacy issues, and the list goes on there. So so you're very involved in the community. We're very involved in the community and of course a lot of student outreach through our student program, our alumni association as well. Okay, and I think we're looking at video uh, from the clinic and, uh, and, and that age group is kind of s astonishing. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're very lucky to serve the whole gamut. Okay. Nora, tell us a little bit about the education you're getting at Sacramento State and, and, and then in turn a little bit about uh, how involved in the community you are as a student. I'm just so honored to be part of the program at Sac State because it's known to be one of the most rigorous and highly regarded in Northern California. We're getting top-notch education from the professors and staff. And so I'm just thrilled to be here. And the student group is really active. The National Association for Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences for Students. And uh, we have raised over $17,000 for the clinic to go toward operating costs and also toward scholarships for families who can't afford to pay for the therapy. Tell us a little bit about, um, if you can hold up this uh, little carry, carry bag, um, tell us what the, what the story is behind this and what you encourage, if you turn it over to the other side, what you encourage uh, parents to do with their children. Okay, as one example of some of the outreach to the community we've been privileged to do, this is a program called Love Talk Read to encourage parents to love their children, talk with them, and read with them every day. So over the last four years, as students in our department have collected and distributed over 26,000 children's books to under-resourced children in the greater Sacramento community. It's been really exciting to see the joy on the faces of the kids and the parents when they get books to actually take home. Most of them don't own any at all. Now, this is your project, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, it, it, how important is this as a student? Do you see a difference when you're working with, in your studies with uh, as children who are reading? It is so important because the foundation of reading really comes with language development. And so that what we need to do is tell people they need to love their children and talk with them on a daily basis so that they can identify all those sound units and then start to form words and then recognize them in print. So we're actually reaching out to other cultural communities and we have tip sheets for language stimulation that we've had translated into Russian and Hmong and Chinese and we also have a Spanish version as well. All right, very good. And just again, one last uh, comment about uh, the department. Uh, these are books that have been written by, by our professor, our guest here. Um, what can you say about, about this and the quality of education you get here at Sac State? Well, Dr. Roseberry has written six books and uh, they are very highly regarded. This is the Praxis Preparation book here is the Bible for passing the licensing ex exam nationwide. This is another book that she wrote on educating multicultural populations and then this is her most recent book that gives educators strategies with working with low income populations. All right, we, we want to thank you both very much for joining us, Thanks. telling us a little bit about this great department. And for more on your programs, the books that you're collecting for children and parents in the community, and all of that, you can log on to our website. CSUS.edu slash made slash TV. Still to come, physical therapy and what our university students are doing for those in need of PT in the community. Learn exactly what the patient has their problems with, and this is so much different than working on your classmates. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Alexa. I'm studying physical therapy and I made at Sac State. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm a kinesiology major and I made at Sac State. Going to Sac State was really a rite of passage for the beginning of the rest of my life. I'm very happy that we brought one of the world's largest video game companies here to Sacramento. I started Sleep Train after graduating Sac State in 1984. And it's really what built the foundation of who I am today. I think that Sac State has made me into a leader. Most importantly, I think it's made me into a confident individual. I'm open to any opportunities. I'm Laura Gonzalez. I'm Dale Carlson. I'm Mark Otero, and I was made at Sac State. We are watching a video of Sacramento State's physical therapy students working with patients from the community. Some of the great work that's going on here at Sac State. Joining us now is Professor Michael McKeo from the department and student Elaine Gardner. Thank you both very much for being here. Uh, Professor, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about the program and our involvement in the community. Um, the biggest recent change in the program is that um, we have moved to the doctoral level. It's required that all physical therapy uh, education programs move to the doctoral level and we did that with the incoming class of students this year. So it's a three-year doctoral program and they, they graduate with a doctorate in physical therapy. And why is that important for our students and for the community? Um, it's required in order to remain accredited and so we will continue to produce physical therapists that meet the physical therapy needs of the society by moving to the doctoral level. Otherwise, we would have lost our accreditation and closed. Okay, but tell us about the community work and the great work you're doing with well, patients out in the community. Uh, in, the, in the videotape that um, people are seeing, um, that we call that mock clinic. And as part of our physical therapy training, we teach students to rehabilitate um, patients who have had neurologic disorder. And that particular patient had had a stroke. And as part of that class, neurorehabilitation, the students spend eight weeks with a patient helping them recover their movement ability after a stroke. That's one of the mock clinics that we have in the program. We also have them for orthopedics and pediatrics. I want to talk to Elaine about her uh, experience here at Sac State and what she's learning, but do me a favor. You introduce Elaine for us because I want everyone to get the full uh, gist of, of her experience and what she's doing. I Elaine Gardner is an upper class student in the physical therapy department and she's this year's recipient of the uh, Neuro Rehabilitation Scholarship and it's a competitive scholarship so she's the number one Neuro Rehab student in the department. And Elaine, what, what are your long term goals? What do you want to do? Um, well, I feel like the program has really prepared me to, you know, really seek a career in any field in physical therapy. But my interest now really lies in neurorehabilitation, and I think the work we've done at Mock Clinic has really um, given me confidence in working with patients with a variety of neurological diagnoses. Okay. What do you see when the patients come in? Um, and a lot of the patients have run out of health care insurance and that kind of thing. But how um, important is this work to you? It's very important and it's very nice to see um, patients and see what their goals are and be able to really work with them to achieve their functional goals and get them back to doing what they love to do. I know physical therapy isn't the easiest profession because a lot of people don't want to um, go to the physical therapist because it can be painful. How do you deal with that? Um, and are you learning to how to deal with that from Sac State? <laughs> Definitely. I think especially being in mock clinic and working with actual patients um, has really prepared us to work with the patients we're going to see in our clinical affiliations and later in, our, in the future. Do they have bad attitudes? Um, for the most part, <laughs> no. <laughs> People have been very nice and really wanting to work and 
Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of motivating, but usually if we're all working together towards those goals, then we really see some success. Sum up your Sac State experience for us in working with the professor and you know, the with the department and other professors. I have really had an excellent experience at Sacramento State and have learned so much in the classroom and then being able to have opportunities to apply um, that knowledge in real practical clinical situations. Elaine Gardner, good luck with your uh, career. Thank you. Uh, Michael McHugh, thank you very much for being here and bringing Elaine with us. Thank you. Uh, for more on the physical therapy program at Sac State and the College of Health and Human Services, you can log on to our website at csus.edu slash made slash TV. Hi, my name is Noelle Madsen and I'm studying health science and I'm made at Sac State. Hi, I'm Anthony Menezes. I'm a criminal justice major and I'm made at Sac State. I'm Alex Gonzalez, president of the university, and we're proud of all of our students who are made at Sac State. Next week on Made at Sac State. The College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics emphasizes hands-on experience and interaction with professors. NSM students study biology, chemistry, mathematics and statistics, physics and astronomy, and more. I'm currently studying biology with the emphasis of biomedical sciences. We have hands-on laboratory. I'm taking histology right now. And over the summer, I'm going to go to Ireland and work at a summer camp for children with cancer. My goal is to become a doctor for children with cancer one day. Join us next Thursday and learn more about the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Thank you for being here in the College of Health and Human Services. I'm Gloria Moraga. We leave you now with another department from HHS, Kinesiology and Health Science. Please enjoy.